I'm Joey, only caribou weather dude here in Wells, British Columbia. There was a bizarre sled fatality that happened a few weeks ago in Williams Lake while a man was loading his sled onto a truck. I'm particularly inspired to share this letter that his wife wrote. I think it's very brave and she's very brave. And on this International Women's Day, I want to give a shout out to her and make sure that people in the sledding community hear her message on loading sleds. Trevor Lee Shine Pierce was the young age of 33 when he suddenly passed away in a horrific, unimaginable accident at home on February 26, 2023. Trevor was loading his sled onto a friend's sled deck in preparation for going riding the next day. When Trevor hit the ramp, it fell down, then came back up, like stepping on a rake effect, and hit him in the head. At the hospital that night, I was told that Trevor had unsurvivable injuries. We decided to take him to Kamloops to have a second opinion. On Tuesday, February 28th, the Kamloops doctors confirmed Trevor's injuries and declared him brain dead. Trevor was a one-of-a-kind man. He was considerate, funny, friendly, affectionate, thoughtful, charming, cheerful, courageous, and many, many other things. He went above and beyond with everything he did. On March 3rd, Trevor helped 13 more people. He will never know any of them, but his organ donations went to five different people, two of whom the transplant team said were rare matches and his donations were like winning the lottery for them. His eyes, the doctor said, will give eight people the gift of vision. The transplant doctor said that the fact that my cousin administered CPR, even without mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, maintained the viability of his organs for transplant. While I feel blessed to know that parts of him will live on and others, I want everybody to know that this was a preventable accident. New sled ramps apparently come with a safety dog to prevent the levering that killed Trevor. But over time, they break off. I've now learned that many of these exact ramps get sold and resold without the safety mechanisms and go on to endanger the lives of so many others because nobody knows they're even supposed to be there. Everybody must take precautions with these ramps. They must be tied down every time you use them. I've heard that another young man died in BC this year from the exact same loading conditions and I have no idea how many more are out there. Please remember my husband and tie down your sled ramps to ensure your, your family isn't left without a father, mother, son, daughter. Thanks for your attention. Chanel Pierce. Chanel, you're an incredibly brave woman. I hope that people see this and get that message out there in the sledding community and tell each other, hey, this is killing people. And it's such an easy thing to avoid. It just takes that extra second or takes making sure that the ramp you have actually has that safety mechanism. That's all for this video. Stay safe out there, everybody, this weekend.